Digital pathology is really a very good tool because it allows for more efficient workflows and also we can much easier reach uh, say, colleagues for consultation. I think the next step in that will be uh, computational pathology, which is the area that we are researching in Nijmegen. Computational pathology will bring that one step further and really help us to streamline the diagnostic process, for instance, by selecting uh, clearly negative cases that a pathologist should not have to see or not spend a lot of time on or maybe focus the attention of a pathologist specifically to certain uh, slides, certain regions that are of interest. So I can imagine that at some point we really get more information from tissue sections because of the algorithms. So what we discuss now is taking over a small part of what a pathologist does, for instance, finding tumor. You can, of course, also think of an algorithm that gets information from a tissue section that is beyond what the human visual system can do. The computer can look at a section and get information that we as humans just cannot do. And I think in the in the maybe somewhat longer future that will also start playing a role. And I think that it really could well, maybe dramatically change the field. Maybe that's too big, but at least I think that it will play a major role in, in the, the, the future of pathology.